RTI hosted the very first Taiwan Forum in London, right here at the Church House, which is right next to the Westminster Abbey. The Westminster Abbey is the Royal Church in the heart of London, which is right near the Great Clock of Westminster, Big Ben, and a few steps away from the Thames River, County Hall, and the London Eye. The event was held on Remembrance Day when people in the UK honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in defending their nation. The theme of the Taiwan Forum was about our modern battle in cyberspace. Many leading academics, journalists, and policymakers attended the Forum on Digital Resilience and Diplomacy. The event was sponsored by Radio Taiwan International, the Taipei Representative Office in the UK, and the UK's Association of International Broadcasting. President Tsai Ing-wen sent a video message about Taiwan being the world's leading target of cyber attacks. She also affirmed Taiwan's commitment to uphold democratic freedoms, including freedom of the press. Taiwan is committed to a free and open media, and we are willing and ready to help advance media freedom across the broader international community. Minister of Digital Affairs Audrey Tong shared Taiwan's expertise in fighting disinformation. Tong also shared about the unprecedented cyber attacks that hit Taiwan during House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit. Although no harm was done to our governmental websites or disclosure of sensitive information, this experience dramatically heightened our public awareness of the critical need for enhanced cybersecurity. The president of the Taiwan Digital Diplomacy Association, Guo Jiayou, is a leading innovator in digital diplomacy. She shared stories of how Taiwan has built alliances through soft power and social media. One very successful campaign was the Milk Tea Alliance, which became a symbol of democracy in Asia. Guo asks for people to support Taiwan on social media. And we believe the power of cyber defense comes from continuous discussion and content creation. As a country who stands on the front line of democracy in the world, we will not shrink from this responsibility. But we do need more people to join our action. Many journalists and activists, including this Ukrainian scholar, were glad to participate in this important dialogue with Taiwan's leaders. The first Taiwan Forum in London was a success.